how to utilize domestic lumber to revitalize Japanese forestry. In the 1945 to 1955s, Japan's post-war reconstruction efforts led to an increase in demand for lumber, and the government promoted a forest development policy. However, after 1964, the demand for domestic lumber continued to decline due to the liberalization of foreign lumber imports. As a result, Japan's self-sufficiency rate for lumber dropped from 94.5% in 1955 to 18.2% in 2000. The cost of this decline has been landslides caused by the devastation of forests. On the other hand, those efforts to revitalize Japan's forests are increasing, and Japan's lumber supply has been rising since 2002. The self-sufficiency rate for lumber was 35.8% in 2020. This article looks at such efforts to revive Japan's forestry industry. Trees grown in Japan are best suited for Japan's climate. Furukawa Rinkyo, which operates forestry and housing businesses in Japan, believes that Japanese timber is best suited for Japan's climate and uses 100% domestic timber for structural and end-use materials, such as poles, beams, and foundations. Wood grown under the humid heat of Japanese summers and harsh cold of winters adapts well to harsh climate, and has various functions required for Japanese housing, such as immunity to pests and resistance to moisture and rot. In addition, by taking advantage of the characteristics of each tree, and using the right wood in the right places, we can create houses that will truly last for a long time. Revitalizing Japan's mountains through the use of domestic timber. Moribito no Kai aims to revitalize Japan's mountains by building houses with natural materials, mainly domestic timber. Five companies, including architects, construction companies, and timber suppliers from different fields, are currently working together to promote the project. Cooperation among other companies with the same goal greatly expands the scope of what can be done. In recent years, they have realized the construction of houses using all domestic lumber. Many of the foreign timbers that are mainstream today are overexploited in developing countries, and we are destroying forests in ways that we cannot see. In addition, domestic forests are also being devastated due to the declining demand for domestic timber. Through their activities, Moribito no Kai is trying to fulfill their motto of not destroying other people's forests by first cleaning their forests. Connecting buildings to the local community through the use of local timber. Kengo Kuma, the world-renowned architect who designed the main stadium for the Tokyo Olympics, is famous for his work utilizing wood. Whenever Kuma has been commissioned to build a building in a rural area, he has tried to use local timber from where the building is to be constructed. During these efforts, Kuma realized that wood is connected to the community. For locals, a new building is an outsider's existence. However, by using local timber and working with local forestry workers, and craftspeople, the connection with the local community grows, and people accept the new building as their own. To make Japanese forestry more sustainable While efforts to use domestic lumber continue to grow, the number of forestry workers and talented carpenters continues to decline over time as the population ages. As long as there are fewer forestry workers, it will be difficult to increase the use of domestic lumber. In the future, it will be necessary to focus on increasing the number of young forestry workers, review the working environment and wages once again, and seek ways to make forestry an attractive profession.